Yes, I'm in the same outfit. Yes. I mean, when your makeup is fleeky, your hair is laid for the gods. Why not? You know, why not just record two videos? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Let's get started. A lot of people have asked me, Shay, why don't you go to hair salons? Like, why do you do your hair by yourself? You talked about, like, um, you take forever before you wash your hair because your hair takes too long. Why don't you just go to a hair salon so they can do it for you and knock that out? Um, and I have some reasons why I don't particularly go to hair salons and why you probably shouldn't go either. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. If you like what you've seen so far from your girl, don't forget to like that button and share my videos all across the globe. Okay, so number one, why I don't go to the hair salons and if you guys have been following me for a while, you probably already know this story, but I'm not going to go into the story, but it's more of a trust thing. Like, my first experience with locks and a hair salon wasn't good, um, so I am i don't really trust them to do what they say that they're going to do, so that's probably why I don't go anymore. I mean, like, I have a hairstylist. Casey she's a good friend of mine I've known her for over nine years and Casey herself has locks so I feel like she really even knows about locks so I entrust her in the, like dealing with my hair and she respects me when I say like I don't want specific things in my hair she's not gonna do it and I, I see Casey once in a while like if I want to get my hair like nicely styled or whatnot I run to Casey like that is who I, I I trust but as far as hair salons you don't know what they're putting in your hair you get what I'm saying they claim they're doing something when they're not like it's just it's 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 too much and I and I don't have the time nor the patience to deal you get me so yeah so number two is money like you know the way how my funds are set up <laughs> like I don't want to spend 60 or above on my hair at a hair salon and then come out of there upset because I don't know what they put in my hair why I was there for God knows how long and like no, I feel like the prices at hair salons are ridiculous. Like, I get it. You're doing a service. You have to pay for rent. Like, I get it. Like, I'm not trying to shun nobody. Get your hustle. Unless they are curly new growth from, and her salon is new growth. That's the only way that I'm going to a hair salon. And that's like a shameless plug for somebody that is not even making money off of that. But curly new growth, you guys know her off of Instagram and YouTube. She has had like three different sets of locks and to me each set of locks was healthy. She knows the insides and outs of locks. So when she starts her own hair salon dedicated to the healthiness of locks, you get what I'm saying? She's just not a person who went to school to um to school for hair and then they know the ins and outs of hair, but then now they realize that the lock community is popping. So now they're gonna start taking lock clients, but they don't really know how to take care of locks. Like, but they charging me an arm and a leg to do my hair. Like, nah, bruh. Broski, I'm Gucci. <laughs> like, I'm not even like trying to be shady or anything but that's the honest truth like i don't go there for that specific reason like you spend all that money and you probably are happy with your hair for a while but then and then they do your your hairstyle so tight your poor edges like is this it's bro it's just it's it's too much to pay to pay all that money no I kind of like the independence of doing my own hair. If you guys don't know, I've had natural hair all my life. Um, I've never, no, my mom never took me to a hair salon. She did my hair. So it's almost in a sense of, it makes it feel better that you know what you're putting in your hair. 
as opposed to hair salons like you can see like bottles here and there but you don't know what that was mixed with you don't know the the ingredients in that specific product you don't know what kind of damage that's doing to your locks you just you just don't you just do not know. And when you're doing your hair by yourself, you kind of know what you're putting in your hair. Like if something is altering um, your growth or altering your dryness of your hair, or your hair is not growing, you can kind of weed out the things that you're using and like implement something different. You get what I'm saying? Because you are doing it yourself. And I kind of like that. I like, I like the independence of me going, oh, well, tuh. Allocate Naturals Moisturizing Black Shampoo. Well, um, it has water, agua, it has aloe vera juice, it has, you know what I'm saying, tea tree oil, coconut oil. Like, I know I can read back there and see what it has. And if it has something that I don't like, I don't need to pick that up and put it in my hair. If it is a couple words that I don't understand, I don't need to put that in my hair. As opposed to the hair salon, it's mass production. You got what I'm saying? So they have big tubes of these things and have those words, you don't know what it is. I know some things are put into products so the shelf life lasts longer, but those things that are put so the shelf life can last longer, can be messing up your hair at the end of the day. So that's another reason why I just don't go to the hair salon. I just rather do it myself. But I can say this, I do have, I do want to go to a hair salon. And the hair salon I do want to go to, let me, like I told you guys in the beginning, is um, Curly New Growth. She has a hair salon. I think she lives in a DC area, DMV area, and it's called New Growth Salon. And I do want to check her out because I've been following her a while on YouTube and I like what she talks about with hair and she's very informative. So I would like to go to her so she could like look at my hair and I want to vlog it so you guys know um, the experience with going to a hair salon and knowing if you still choose to want to go to a hair salon knowing what you should look out for the pros and the cons and also for the hairstylist um if they're a good fit <laughs> for you and your journey but anyways this is the reasons why i don't go to the hair in this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe put comments below as to why why you don't go to hair salons and if you have any other uh video ideas oh it's raining if you have any other video ideas that you want from me don't forget to put them down below you guys know i be listening to you and i i i got your back i got your back um so i'll see you guys next time see you later tiger lilies toodles Crash course, let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the